slower going down. I think we're still What's up, guys? It is Nate. I'm here with uh, Ryan and Will, who I did the, uh, you've seen Will a few times. Ryan was with us too when we did the uh, Wheeler Peak Half Cirque up to uh, Fairchild Peak. But um, today we're in the Latier Peak Wilderness in Northern New Mexico. We are attempting to, I think hit as many as three 12,000 foot peaks, ranked ones. Um, the Latiers are kind of this high massive of quite a few 12,000 foot peaks. I've been to this area once before when I hiked the Nato Peak and the Latier Peak. This was way back in like 2018 or 2017. I do not have a video of it, but I'll link a blog post below that I wrote at the time. Um, this is my first time, I think getting above 10,000 feet this year. So that's pretty exciting. And uh, I'm feeling good right now. Obviously I've outpaced my companions, but um, I think that's just because I'm excited to be in the high country. I'm sure I will slow down significantly. Okay, we just passed the intersection. I'm moving on without Will and Ryan for right now. I think I'd rather hike at a slower pace and try to keep up with them. So I'm gonna get a little bit of a head start. I, I'm pretty sure they will catch up to me fairly quickly. So the three peaks that we may hike all or one of, or I guess potentially none of, are, um, I don't know if any of them are officially named, but they're Cabresto, Cabresto Sur Este, and um, I think Bull Creek is the other one. And um, super stoked to do this. This is my first time being above 10,000 feet this year. So that's pretty exciting. Been pretty close, especially the last few weeks. But you know, if you had told me two weeks ago, two weeks ago I was doing my Memorial Day weekend hikes and I would not have thought that two weeks ago you could get up here because even this time, because it was so snowy, but it has been searing hot down in town in Santa Fe and Albuquerque. I was in Albuquerque yesterday, 103 was what the thermometer is showing. Been in the low nineties in Santa Fe, basically the last two weeks, really brutal. And I think a lot of the snow is burnt off. We got a big Creek crossing up here, I think. Oh, that was nice and easy, nice little bridge there. But yeah, so we don't know what to really expect snow-wise. The snow depth map was showing some lingering snow in the northern slopes, but we're approaching from like the southeast. So I, we'll see, we have snowshoes just in case, but we did not bring like axes or anything. The last little bit of chatting, I think because it's been so hot, Either we're in monsoon or it's a monsoon like pattern. But basically, it looks like this week, including today, strong chance of storms afternoon. So, one of the reasons we got an early start, really want to be off tree line uh, before the lightning rolls in. Pretty good actually.
First time above 10,000 feet this year, quickly followed by first time above 11,000 feet. Let's make it to 12. about fresh mountain spring water. This is snow melt filtered through granite, mountain earth to become this creek. What a campsite that would be right next to a rushing creek. Some beautiful fresh water and we're pretty close to tree line now, I think. I did tell them, let the guys know that I am going to wait for them at tree line. I thought they would have caught up to me right now. I keep thinking I hear them talking. So they might not be that far behind me, but definitely when we hit tree line, we're gonna stop and wait for them. This is the first kind of snow we've been getting. I was feeling pretty good that we won't need snowshoes and I still feel the good, given that we're about to crest tree line. We only have these pathetic patches, but we'll see, I guess. Nope, the world hasn't turned upside down. We are at the unnamed lake. I think which I've seen, I think I've seen called Bull Creek Lake. Not the most beautiful lake in New Mexico, but oh, nice view of where we're heading. So we're gonna be heading up to these peaks, I think. Awesome. So this is Bull Creek Peak ahead of us. And I mean, obviously we're not going up this way. <laughs> it does look like you could maybe go up through these trees or, or next to these trees. So maybe we'll take that way down. I think we're probably just gonna go straight up to the Mesa and I think that might be Cabresto Sereste back there. Officially above tree line after we cross the snow patch. Is there? Any, I mean, I haven't read anything about the hike. I'm assuming it's. go over the top and yeah. straight down that grass. Why cut back if we're gonna... You're actually... Well, he has a water bottle up here. And, uh, kind of for the first time, three peaks are in view. We got Cabresto, which I think is the only one that actually is named Cabresto. It actually has its name. Cabresto uh, Sereste and Bull Creek. Um, I don't know how tall Cabresto is, but I think we're probably about 500 or 600 feet below it. But it looks like a pretty fun climb from here.
Boom. Cabresto Peak. All right, we made it to Cabresto, but uh, the clouds forming overhead kind of weirded us out. We do know that there is supposed to be rain, like I said earlier, but uh, we're hoping that we can kind of beat it. So we're gonna, I think, pretty much book it to uh, Cabresto Sureste. I think we feel pretty confident we'll be able to bag that one, but beautiful views. I wish I could show you some more, but I'll do a quick sweep. And I'm off. Sorry for that short interlude. Hopefully you can get a longer one on Cabresto Sureste. Hopefully say a prayer that it does not rain on us. Uh, I got two six inch long titanium rods in my legs. So definitely do not want to be above tree line when thunder starts. You see how fast things change in the mountains. 10 minutes ago, it was sunny skies. And now we're under what looks to be a building thunderhead. Ready? There we As you can see, we risked it, went to Sereste. I think we got here like maybe a minute ago and we're already leaving. I think we determined the fastest way down is uh, the saddle between Sereste and Bull Creek. We think if the weather is still holding out by the time we get to the saddle, we might make a quick push at Bull Creek. Our right, weather is holding out. It's only about 250 feet from the saddle, which is a good uh, bailout point to Bull Creek Peak. So we're gonna hold our breath, push up strong. We made it up the 400 feet to uh, Sereste in about 17 minutes. But that was with slightly fresher legs. So let's see what we can do here. At the first whiff of thunder, I don't know about these guys, but I'm probably gonna turn around. It's thundering. We are at the summit of Bull Peak, Bull Creek. Do not feel like sticking around to be a lightning rod. So I'm headed back down after probably a total of 15 seconds on the summit. Oh yeah, dude. All right, we're back below 11,000 feet. Sorry I didn't feel much on the way up to Cabresto Sur Este or the way up and down to Bull Creek Peak. We were pretty we were pretty worried about lightning and thunder there. Started the peels started to come in fast. Told everybody twice that I was turning back, but I was only 150 feet away from the summit. And I figured, you know what? I'll chance it. Just made it up as you saw. Spent about 15 seconds on the summit. <clears throat> By the time we got back down below tree line to where I cached my water. I was beat. So it took a few minutes rest. Feeling pretty good now. I was kind of not feeling good about 30 minutes ago, but I'm feeling good now. Um, I think we'll have no problem getting the rest of the way back. Pretty happy. This is less than a year removed from my broken ankle. Less than nine months removed from the surgery. Oh wait, that's not right at all. Still less than a year removed from the surgery. More than nine months. I think it'll be one year on Wednesday, so pretty stoked. I think when this will all be said and done, it'll probably be about the same mileage as that trouble benchmark trip I took the two days before I broke my ankle. So I'm feeling good about it. Happy for myself. Happy to be out here again. Loving the New Mexico high country. Thanks for joining me.